Good morning. Here we are on day four as I share lessons that I learned from memories around the Christmas season. And I hope you're not bored um, listening to these stories, but I am a storyteller rather than a preacher. And so I just wanted to share some of these things with you um, and let you know how different things um, give us hope and give us uh, support. Uh, in times that we need it. And so the scripture that I've chosen for today to focus on is found in Isaiah 40 and 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Now, the first Christmas that we were in Germany, um, we were very privileged to be able to have our four boys all together. We had left two back in Canada, and uh, so to have them over there for Christmas that we could share together was going to be something very special. And from where we lived on the base and just around uh, Germany, uh, we could drive to so many different countries and experience so many different things. But we chose this time to take a trip to Berlin. Doug and I had been to Berlin already um, for a Salvation Army big event with General Eva Burroughs. And it was held in what used to be the Russian Culture Center. And uh, while General Burroughs is preaching in the uh, auditorium outside, there's still a big statue of Stalin. And so it was quite the interesting event. And so we thought, there's so much history up in Berlin. I think this would be a great place to take the boys and uh, just experience this as a family. And so off we went again in another station wagon, but this time only two could sit in the front. Um, so one of the boys had to be in the back. And uh, so we headed up the Autobahn. Uh, Doug was enjoying this trip because at this point he's going 180 up the Autobahn. And uh, there's nothing quite like that experience. And you really get used to it after a while. And I loved getting the car and getting out on that Autobahn. But here we were going up the uh, Autobahn again, having a good time as a family. And we had stopped at the American base. And you know, there are certain things that you can get in the United States that you can't always get in Canada. Well, this was the same thing. We could get things on the American base that we couldn't necessarily get in our um, shop on our base. And so Justin was really enjoying these cookies. He enjoyed them so much that all of a sudden, here's another Lewis adventure. Right straight up the middle of the car is Justin's enjoyment of the cookies. Well, all the other boys are yelling, Dad, Dad, pull over, pull over. Uh, there's no way at 180 you can just pull over to the side of the road. Uh, but when we pulled over, a beautiful young man stopped to see if we were okay. And in Doug's a little bit of German. He's talking about his son, Kranken, which means sick. His son was being sick and we were okay. So off we went again. And by this time, laughing, crying almost because, uh, yeah, only the Lewis family could experience these weird events. But what we were doing was going to spend some time in Berlin checking things out, and we were staying at a convent. Now, I want to tell you, if you ever wanted to experience hospitality, that was one thing that was there. We were tired, we'd been busy, it had been a big change, and we felt the refreshment and the the warmth of that uh, convent that day and those that were there. The Christmas decorations just made it so special. And as we took the time to go around Berlin and look at what used to be the wall that had made such a division for so many years, you could feel the hope that was there. What a reminder of the hope that comes when there is peace. 
It was a beautiful city that allowed us to just enjoy the moments. We were so excited we even phoned my mother from Brandenburg Gate. We knew it was at least one o'clock her time, but you know what, she didn't care. She was hearing from the family. Remember back then there were no cell phones or computers, so we had to go to a pay phone and whatever. Anyway, we were able to communicate and what a great time. But it's amazing that God knows what we need and when we need it. And as I wrote this, I thought, why are we amazed with how good God is? My hope in the Lord is also in the knowledge that he is always there. How often are we amazed that God has directed you to just what you need? We needed that rest. We needed that fun. We needed that trip. Do you know your strength can be renewed? Are you tired? Are you weary? What a wonderful promise we have read earlier. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. He knows what we need when we need it. Put your hope and your trust in him and he will renew your strength. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, today we just thank you. We thank you that we can be renewed, that even when we are beyond weary, you know our need and you are there to give us that. Thank you for the hope that we have in you. In thy name we ask it. Amen.